Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today I'm going to talk about one of my prized possessions here, which is the uh, 1970s Evo Knievel Challenge Machine. Uh, this was made for the uh, Japanese market, as you can see, the whole box. It has Japanese writing all over it, and it's just one of my prized possessions. Um, it's extremely rare. You, you, can, you, you can't really find these anywhere anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this up and uh, kind of show you everything inside the box here. So let me go ahead and just uh, remove the box here. So there you go. <clears throat> and that's the set. That's kind of how it's been over the years since I had it in storage. Um, the figure itself was, it's a little rough, but it still has its helmet and everything. It looks like it's missing its hand. So may, maybe the hand's in there somewhere, I hope, but I'll just go ahead and take everything out here. Now what's interesting about this Evil Knievel versus the traditional Evil Knievels that we're used to in the U.S is that it's it's a lot smaller and let me show you here I happen to have one of my evil Knievels it's wrapped up but <laughs> but as you can see he's Robbie Knievel size the Japanese version so, he's definitely a lot smaller, the, sh the suit's a lot smaller, um, but everything is, for some reason, was built a lot smaller than what we're used to, so let me go ahead and take everything else out. And before I do that, I want to show you the bike, which is still in perfect, perfect condition. There, there's a little slight wear on the... Um, the paint but um, it's still intact I mean you could see the bottom still it looks like it was probably played with a little bit but not not too much everything's intact yeah the, uh, the wheel still spins it's got the pins like if you <laughs> if you notice a lot of the uh, evil Knievel cycles today they're like the American version they're they're missing their pegs and everything, but this one is in beautiful shape. Still, it's got all the stickers. It's even got the kickstand, which I'm afraid to pop this up because it, it, it seems like it's in place. I don't want to really mess with it because it's, it's a collector's piece. So let me go ahead and take everything else out. <clears throat> Here's the ramp. So there's quite a few more pieces than what we used to get in the U.S. as far as uh, we would get, you know, just the cycle, the energizer, and the figure. That was it. So let me go ahead and take this out for you here. Okay, so I have everything set up now. And as you can see, um, this has <laughs> more pieces than the uh, U.S. counterpart. Uh, it has the ramp, but it has this uh, pole that he'll jump through, and I believe this piece here will hook on this right here, this hook, would hook onto the motorcycle, and then he's supposed to swing around or something on this pole. I, or yeah, cat, catches evil Knievel on on the pole here or something. I, I I believe that's how it works, from what I could see from the uh, box. But it's a pretty cool set. Um, it has this cardboard ramp. This is part of the uh, the uh, jump ramp here. This this cardboard piece, and it would go. 
from the ramp here all the way to this uh, frame here or this goal post or whatever you want to call it so it's really cool um, I thought I'd share it on the video here because it's just one of those things that you really don't see around uh, too much uh, in the collector uh, circuit anymore so um, however this one uh, looks like it was played with a little bit there's a few pieces that broke off but still this thing is still really nice nicely intact nothing's melted or anything like that um, the bike is in beautiful shape still for its age uh, the figure on the other hand one of his hands are gone and then uh, this arm is you know broken off but he he's still you know I mean he's still looks good <laughs> You know, and hey, he wasn't missing from the set, so that was that was the great thing about uh, finding this a while ago. So, and as you can see here on the box, um, I tried. That's my cat. He's saying hi to everybody. Um, that's how they the setup is with the ramp and the pole and everything, and you could. Uh, <laughs> See him jump really high. You know, you could adjust the ramp and make him jump as high as you want. So, again, I wanted to share that with everybody. And thank you so much for watching my video. And, and happy collecting. Great day. Bye-bye.